All right, here's something you already know. All probabilities sum to one in a random experiment. So, for example, throw some dice. The probability that you get one is one in six, two is one in six, three is one in six, four is one in six, five is one in six, and six is one in six. Now, if you add all of those together, one in six plus 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 one in six, one in six you'll get one because something has to happen. So the probability that something happens is one. Uh, quick example here. All right, so in this one, there's four outcomes, one, two, three, or four. Uh, so we can do the probability of one, the probability of two, the probability of three, and the probability of four. And that all of that added together is going to equal one. So the probability of one is that one in thirteen. Probability of two is two in thirteen. Probability of three is three in thirteen. What's the probability of four? Well, we can add all of those up. That's six in thirteen. And now we can just uh, use some algebra here. One minus six in thirteen is the probability of four. So the probability of four is seven in thirteen. Done. All right, second example here. Uh, we've got some spinners uh, with some equal segments. Now, the probability of 1 plus probability of 2, 3, 4, and 5 is going to equal 1 because something's got to happen. But they're all the same size. So if we do 1 divided by 5, we'll get the probability of one of those segments, which is 1 in 5. Now, uh, each of those segments, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, they've all got a probability of 1 in 5 of happening. This uh, second one here, it's similar. This one segment has a probability of 1 in 8. Uh, now the 5s, there's 3 of them, so it's 3 in 8. The 4s, there's 2 of them, so it's 2 in 8, which we can simplify. Uh, probability of 3 is 1 in 8, and the probability of 2 is 1 in 8. Uh, all of that hinges on the fact that... Um, the sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes of a random experiment must equal 1.